Assalamu alaikum guys how are you welcome to another video and in this video i will show you a full review of the latest havoc os 3.3 which is the official build of havoc os so its security patch is 5 march 2020 and its build date is 17th march so without any further ado let's get started <laughs> So the room is pretty stable and there is no any single bug or issue in this room everything is just working fine and there is no any lag and uh, the overall performance and gaming performance of this room is also good every single app is working good and the app opening speed of this room is also pretty good as you can see here it is op opening the apps quickly and in the camera we have this simple camera you can install any gcam mode or even the tr camera from the link in the description and uh, in the quick setting we have some useful shortcuts you can use them in the home screen we have pixel launcher with some minimum settings then we have widgets and styles and wallpapers in the styles we have four types of styles pre installed Uh, you can create your own by clicking on the custom button then we have cloak in the cloak we have some styles like default samsung type bubble analog or binary i am using this samsung because it looks really decent and then we have wallpaper in the wallpaper we only have this wallpaper pre installed you can install amazing live wallpapers by watching my previous videos Now let's dig into the settings. In the setting, first of all, we have some notification search panel. Then we have network and internet connected devices and configuration center. Center here we have all available customization. First of all, we have the status bar customization. From here, you can manage the clock. You can enable custom logo. You can change its position, change its style, and uh, here we will have a lot of styles. You can choose any one, but uh, I will never use this. Then we have brightness control, double tap to sleep, and network indicator. Then we have carrier level, and you can change the battery style. You can play with the battery percentage, status bar icons, and some icon, some other icon settings. Then we have the quick settings. From here, you can enable the background blur, and you can cha uh, change its alpha. values then you can also enable the header image after it we have the lock screen from here you can enable some gestures uh, like video cover art uh, media cover art and some other settings then we have the ambient display from here you can enable the always on display which is working good and some other settings like double tap to wake and book detection then we have the buttons from here you can change the navigation style and uh, we also have the advanced settings like uh, you can enable the full screen gesture to hide the pill to get the seamless full screen display and then we have power button settings and volume rocker button settings then you can also change the long sw long swipe type and uh, Then we have the gestures. From the gesture, we have jump to camera, system navigation, prevent ringing, swipe three fingers to screenshot, and touch screen gesture. And the touch screen gesture, you can enable or disable the uh, gestures haptics. Then we have the notifications. From here, you can enable or disable the edge lightning and some other notification and uh, light settings. Double tap to check is also working good. From here, you can manage heads up, snooze timer, etc. In the battery saving, we have suspend actions. Then we have screen. From here, you can make the screen rounder, round corners, and animations. Then we have misc. Here we have screenshot type, partial, all full. Uh, then we have the gaming mode, which is the advanced gaming mode. So let me change it to full. again then we have wake device on plug and charging animation from the about you can uh, read about the team of havoc os 
The battery performance of this ROM is also good. Here we have battery saver, adaptive battery and smart charging. Then we have the display. Here we have all previous settings like uh, brightness level, adaptive brightness, night light, theme, uh, style and font sizes and display size. And then we have some lock screen setting and tap to wake and device cutout. And the sound quality of this ROM is also good. And uh, then we have privacy, securities, and in the security, the fingerprint of this ROM is working pretty much good. Accessibility, Google system. In the system, we have languages and input, date and time, backup, reset option, multiple uses. And in the about phone, you could check your Android version, which is the 10. It's a work OS version is 3.3. .3. Official build, its security patch is 5 part 2020. Its build date is 17th March. So the ROM is pretty stable and recommended for daily usage. There is no any single bug or issue in this ROM. So if you want to install this ROM, on your Redmi 5, just download the ROM and GApps from the link in the description. Reboot your device into an installed custom recovery. Go to wipe, wipe everything except the internal storage and SD card. Now go to install, flash the downloaded ROM plus GApps. Reboot, you will be in this ROM. So, hope you liked this video. If you really did, hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe my channel. Keep supporting. Thanks for watching. Peace. And stay at homes.